Today we will talk about how to better keep the brakes in the best condition. Braking efficiency is very important in driving. The brakes are used very frequently on the track and are often accompanied by high temperatures. Therefore, braking efficiency is very important for the safety of the car. In this episode, I will share with you the importance of brake dissipation. First, we need to know how the brakes work. Simply put, the fluid in the brake master cylinder reaches the brake cylinder through the pipeline respectively, and then the brake fluid will push the piston of the brake cylinder to tighten the brake pads. The friction between the brake pad and the brake disc produces deceleration and converts kinetic energy into heat energy. When braking, the kinetic energy of the car is converted into heat and acts on the brake disc. Brake discs that heat up sharply will turn red. When the car is fully braked, the temperature of the brake disc will reach 800 to 900 degrees Celsius. And F1 cars can reach 1200 degrees Celsius. If there is no brake heat dissipation, the heat will be transferred back to the brake fluid. Heat builds up until the brake fluid boils and bubbles. Due to the compressibility of the gas, the efficiency of the brake will drop sharply at this time, the foot feel will become soft, and the brake will not decelerate. When the air bubbles reach a certain level, the piston of the brake cylinder will not operate. In other words, the car cannot be stopped, which is very dangerous. Next, let's take a look at how the car's braking system can withstand high temperature conditions. First of all, the materials of the brake discs and brake pads of racing cars are different from those of civilian cars. Civil vehicles pursue the first braking response. When you are driving normally at high speed, a sudden danger requires emergency braking. At this time, the braking response is very important. Therefore, the brake operating temperature required by civil vehicles is relatively low. But, on the contrary, the highest temperature that civilian vehicles can withstand is not as high. Considering the working conditions, civilian vehicles do not use the brakes frequently and have sufficient cooling time. But the brakes of a race car are different. One curve after another on the track requires the driver to brake continuously the working conditions are very harsh, and the brakes need to withstand high temperatures, so its temperature range is also raised. The car needs to warm up the brakes to reach the optimum working temperature, so as to achieve the best friction efficiency. But the temperature should not be too high otherwise, the brakes will overheat. Therefore, the heat dissipation of the brakes of the racing car is very important. In order to cool down the brakes, engineers have thought of various ways. First of all, let me introduce this brake disc, its own ventilation effect. When the wheel turns rapidly, the hollow windshield groove of the brake disc will drive the airflow to dissipate heat through centrifugal force. At the same time, there will be a complex brake airway on the car to assist the brakes to dissipate heat. Let's take a look at the design of the brake air guide and heat dissipation on different models. On small racing cars, most of it is the part where the air duct is blown to the caliper and brake disc. Since it is not that fast, it can meet the needs of heat dissipation. On the faster GT models, more attention is paid to the efficiency and accuracy of the windshield. Let's take a look at the brake air guide system of the 911 GT3 Cup. This is the front brake disc of the car. The entire size is 380 mm, which is a very large size. The larger the size, the better the heat dissipation efficiency. But you also need to consider the power of the car, if your car has less power, a large brake disc will increase your unsprung mass. There are many air guide grooves in the hollow part of the brake disc, which are to help the brake disc to dissipate heat. The core part in the middle is actually hollow. In other words, if we want to dissipate the heat of the brake, we need to divert the cold air to this position, and then get the heat out through the rotation of the brake disc. On faster cars, such as GT3, a wind kit with side air curtains is also designed on the surround to assist the rapid dissipation of brake heat. The front impact wind is introduced by the air intakes on both sides of the front bumper and directed to the sides of the wheels. Due to the fast airflow on the side, the heat in the drum can be taken away, making the brake heat dissipation more efficient. That's all for today's episode. If you want to learn more about the technology of racing cars, let us know in the comments section. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.